Hello everyone, today we are making orange scented soap. So it's going to be orange and white with orange essential oils to scent the soap. Here are the oils and here is the lye. And now let's pour in the lye and then blend them up. Blendy time. Now we're going to split off the batter into the two containers for mixing colors. And again, I'm going to mix in some of the soap batter with the colorant before mixing it, dumping it fully into the color container. Because I feel like it's easier to disperse the color evenly when I do it this way. Divide the remaining batter. Spatula out this container and then add in some titanium dioxide to the other container and then we will blend again. Here's the titanium dioxide mixed with water and the teaspoon measure that I used to measure the orange colorant. Blendy, blendy again. essential oils and I'm going to mix those in by hand. Now to mix them in. Now to pour it into the mold and I'm going to probably put it in fast mode again and for sure start a new clip so it doesn't cut us off again.
gonna spray the top and then we'll see it tomorrow when we get to cut it. Or maybe the next day because this is really liquidy. Apparently the camera had run out of battery yesterday, but now we are going to cut the soap. I'm really excited because yesterday I was able to get in more layers than I ever have before because the, sto the soap just stayed really, really, really runny. And it was great and it hardened up perfectly fine. And oh my gosh, I didn't get to film the top because the camera ran out of battery. But look how sorely pushed down somewhat gently. I think I talked about this in the video that I just edited, but sometimes I feel like I'm pressing so hard and it's going nowhere. But this one is another one that's been pretty soft. And I, did, I forgot to tap it down really good yesterday, but I think it'll be okay because of how liquidy the soap was. I don't think there's going to be big holes, but you never know. One day I should film on this side. It looks so strange where the wires are cutting through because this soap has to move out of the way. So that it's like a little, like, snail trail coming out. Funk. Oh my gosh. Look. That's not zebra print, but that's awesome. Okay, here's the first bar. Whoa. This is so cool. I'm excited by every single one. I love it. Yay, more stripey. And the orange turned out a lot more red than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be like an actual orange red because it was called orange something. But it was darker and that's okay. This is more of a like a blood orange type color. Ooh, this one has like kind of even striping throughout most of it. And you can see each time that I, I, oops that I untipped the mold a little bit there and right there. Whoa, it's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> now to wipe down the wires and then we can cut the rest. I kind of messed up this side of this one. So I made the bar, the little sample bars that cut, cut off a little bit thinner on this side and thicker on this side because where the the corners are I kind of jabbed it into my sweatshirt that I was that I had on a chair so there's a little divot taken out the top and then I accidentally took a little divot out of the bottom with the corner of the table oh my goodness I really like how this side turned out Ooh. all done so thanks for making soap with me this week and I'll see you next time bye